Oh, hello everybody, Sucrose here. Today we're going to play some Long Dark. Um, we just, for some reason, aren't dying. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's not, it's not from lack of trying, because we've been to almost every map now. Oops, there we go. All right, I think, um, I think we're ready. Well, except, sorry, but something's busted with my chat. I'm going to have to restart this thing. Um, yeah, so I, I've been thinking about it. I think I have a plan. Of course, the ultimate goal is to get to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Because that's the one map that we have not... I've never been to, um, and it's supposed to be a doozy. Um, I did cheat a little bit and looked up. It's connected from um, Pleasant Valley. So we'll have to head back there to, to find it. Uh, but I thought that was preferable than searching the entire world map. Um, all right, hey Sam Cam. So uh, my chat's working now, and I'm gonna get back to the game. Um, yeah, so Timberwolf Mountain is the ultimate goal. Uh, in pursuit of that goal, we have to exit Milton. Now we could do that by the the route that we got in here. Um, but there's two two rope climbs, and we have a lot of stuff, so if it's possible, I'd love to find a way to do it without climbing. And it may be that such a way doesn't exist. Um, I, I, I don't know of a way. The, the only way I know to get in the mills is from, uh, from that climb. But I do know there is a second way to get here. Just don't know what it is. So I thought we'd uh, we'd do a little more exploring in Milton. Basically, walk around. Uh, we'll play a little bit more with the charcoal. If we there should be something here. 12 charcoal, yeah, that should be it. Um, and, you know, take a little bit of time to burn through some of this junk we've collected. Uh, we can't carry all of it with us. But, um, I think there's no sense to run, run away just yet. So, uh, I'm taking stock of where I left things last time. It looks like it's kind of late in the day, but we could run over to we could run over to the farmhouse because I think I think that's where there's stuff that we haven't seen before. Um, the mountain, a place where it's always blizzard, but there's a base. Uh, a Zen playthrough? What's that? Is that where you go blind? Um, so yeah, Timberwolf Mountain is one of the harder areas. There's there's no indoors indoors, but there's a there's like a shack that's broken down. So it's not super warm, but it's sheltered. Um, and there's if you find these cargo crates that fell out of a plane, there's a lot of materials. So it's like high reward, high risk. That's when you make the game super easy. I see. So you can just relax. Um, that sounds actually pretty, pretty nice. I, I've played with the animals turned off um, almost every time I've played, except for on stream. And um, it's it's very pleasant, even with even without danger. I mean, there's still danger from the weather. Um, 
So yeah, I'm thinking, let's go over to the... Uh, let's do a couple of things. So, I don't see any reason why not to use the rifle. So I'm going to put away that. I'm going to get, I don't even know which one of these is good. 64, 95. Okay, we need some bullets. And uh, we'll head over there. We'll sleep there tonight, and then we'll look around tomorrow. Um, I anticipate... Anticipate having to deal with wolves, but uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't think we really need anything else. Um, but yeah, basically Timberwolf Mountain is a goal for us simply because it's a goal. Uh, should be interesting. I, I think the weather's colder there. Um, I, I think that it's, you've got a lot of crags, so it's hard to see what's coming, stuff like that. And it's easy to get lost. Okie dokie. Since we're in explore mode, uh, th this should be fine. I was thinking about carrying a cooking pot. I don't think we'll need a bear skin rug. Um, so now would be a good time to do some crafting if we have any to do, which I would say mostly boils down to making arrows, I think. But we don't have any arrowheads. Try to lay waste to the wildlife. <laughs> Maybe. Um, my current plan is to... <clears throat> so we just got back from this new map. Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you watched, but... Um, this Hushed River Valley. And it was all outdoors. Not even a single shelter. And um, and we we gave it a good exploring, had some uh, dangerous times. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for with Timberwolf. And honestly, if we get through Timberwolf without dying, I'm probably just going to retire this character. Um, if we if we play again, I'll start over with harder weather. And probably easier wolves, because the wolves have been super annoying. Alright, so we're just going to head down the street. Hopefully. Pleasant little stroll here in the evening. A um, couple of things I want to do over here. One is explore that pack wall. Another is explore this river. So we know where the right side takes us, but we don't know where the left side takes us. Cattails. I 
heart. We've got a deer, which is always a welcome sight. But uh, last time we were here, we saw the wolves closer to the house, so... Man, I love that sound of them running away on the snow. It's so, so pleasant. But yeah, let's let's run this deer over towards the house. That way, if there's a wolf, <clears throat> maybe the wolf will bother the deer. Yeah, so I want to go all over there. We haven't been there. That's pretty much it. And then maybe a little this way. I know it ends in a cliff. Oh, there's a wolf. So where's that deer? Let's get on the other side of the deer. No, 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 no. No, you run back the other way. No, 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 no. didn't go according to plan. I'll try something here. Um, now I tell you, this wolf is crafty. We may have killed him, but he still managed to eat the piece of meat. I don't really understand that. Uh, that kind of baffles me. Strix practice, absolutely, yeah. It's, I tell you one thing, it's a hell of a lot easier playing Strix than it is playing Shaolin in this game. Um, my bow... My bow aim is much worse than my... rifle aim. Alright. There's the house. I think we can... we can make it at this point. But, uh... We saw quite a few wolves last time we were here. All right, beautiful. Maybe we should have taken that lantern, because if I remember right, yeah, this, this house is super dark. Rock King? <laughs> uh, yeah, the bunnies, man. The bunnies are the toughest uh, in the game. I still haven't gotten that achievement for Killing him from afar. Um, so I have about, I don't know, 15 sticks. I don't think I have any wood. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let, let's let's try stumbling around in the dark to see if we can get a uh, sofa or something. And then we'll cook all this meat. Uh... Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to do it on the porch. We don't really need the cloth. I'm going to go for the table. Okay. Uh, now here's the hardest part, is trying to find the stove. It's... I think straight back, but there's stuff. Oh, oh, microwave. Now, I could light a match. Um, and I'll probably light a match in about 20 seconds. <clears throat>
Ah, okay. Um, what? You can't light it with the matches in your hand? That sucks. Yeah, so we're going to cook up this meat. Um, we're gonna, this is going to be our base for the next night or two, however long it takes us to search the area. If I can't find the exit, we're going to have to go out the way we came in. Um, and we've, we've gotten so much stuff while we're in Milton. Wait, did we fail? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. They've got those long matches, though. Matches like that. Um, <laughs> they'd be pretty valuable in this game. There's something very beautiful about uh, uh, wooden matches. I, I've always been... It's kind of a silly thing. I just... Wooden matches in a box, you know? Something beautiful about that. So, I, I don't know good at what they do, or I don't exactly know what it is, but um, so simple, so elegant. This new, this new cooking thing. Let's not talk about that. All right. I'm going to put this gut next to the fire, and we are we're on, compared to the big boy matches. Um, I, I don't know. I, um, those little dudes, the little butane, not the Bix, but the, um, the wand looking lighters. That would be a cool thing in this game. But I guess they're functionally not really different from the fire starter. So, uh, yeah, we've got this meat on the fire. I don't think there's a lot for us to do, and I put in too much wood. Um, so if we can find something to take apart in an hour, that would be useful. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of dark in here. Oh, I know what we can do. So those are an hour, hour, fifteen minutes, two hours. Um, Actually, uh, we've we've been over this this place twice, I think. So probably not going to find anything, but I think it's worthwhile taking a quick look because this torch burns awful bright. I think we're pretty thorough. All right, these have 45 minutes, so let's do something that takes 40 minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's all the meat. And... Might as well use this fire. Put the. Okay, 
down here, <clears throat> make, some, make some water. It's a shame I didn't bring a cooking pot. I, I guess I thought we'd be walking around. I hadn't fully formed the plan. Uh, let's make more when we need it. All right. Now to go to bed. Are plum tuckered out. I think it's going to be about noon before we roll out of bed. That's okay. We're in no rush. Just going to be poking around. I think um, I think I'll leave all this meat here to hopefully avoid any more confrontations, and uh, we'll look for cattails. Yeah, I feel like you get tired too quick, you get hungry too quick, you get thirsty too quick. The good thing is, is now that they have custom settings, you can change that. But, um, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I left those on the default for Stalker. Uh, it's, it's tiring to be tired so, so much. Yeah. I definitely agree. All right, let's put the meat. Let's see. Let's use this chest here. And, um... Uh, actually, I'll put that in front of the thing. Put a little bit of that away. Put all the meat on the front porch. Honestly, we don't... We're not really carrying anything, except for, except for wood. So, I'll put the... Put the wood in front of this. goes in the front porch. Well, isn't it a lovely day? for a little stroll. Um, it's, it's damn gorgeous though. I, I love watching snow. Um, I totally get what you mean by Zen playthrough. This, it's such a When I don't have anything to do, and, it, and I'm inside, and it's snowing outside, you just sort of watch it and snow now. It's, kind, it's actually kind of uh, clearing up a bit. Um, well, it's perfect. Look at that. Oh, blue skies. My god, it's gorgeous. It's not even it's not even snowing a little bit. Boy, that cleared up mighty fast. Alright. Saw something moving, it's it's a rabbit. And there's a there's a wolf on that ridge up there. He's kinda He's kind of in our way, because I'd like to follow 
like to follow that uh, that wall, but I think what I'm going to do let's let's explore back here first. So I'm sprinting isn't worth it. In, just in general, or to get through the snow, or what do you mean? We want some cedar. Uh, I think we have enough wood at the house. Uh, yeah, it makes you hungry faster. It makes you tired faster, too. Um, if you're sprinting around all day, by the time you get home, you'll be slammed and exhausted. Um, shoot the bunny. I, I feel like that would be a waste of a bullet. We can, uh, we can hit it with rocks if you want. Well, you just, I... I think you just have to approach it like you do uh, the Zen playthrough. It's... I, I don't know. It gives me time to react. Um, when I started playing, I sprinted all the time. But I, I don't anymore. I think it's... Uh, I don't know. You can do it. It's, you actually get some bonuses for it if you do it enough. Um, that actually carry over from game to game. But you get stressed during survival. Well, I tell you one thing: we we don't much have to worry about survival right now. Um, 150 days into this, we have stockpiles of stuff in um, across the world. If we get attacked by like four wolves back to back. Um, we might die, but uh, or in, in a blizzard, you know, something like that. We're, we're probably going to be fine. I'd like to see this wolf. He must be on the other side of this hill. Well, we've lost sight of him. That's not good. Ooh, there's a body. Um, also, Alenza, welcome. What's going on? Ah, there he is. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's going to leave us alone, and we're going to go this way. What is that? Dead deer? And a live deer. You'd think the dead deer would be scared of them. I mean, you'd think the live deer would be scared of the dead deer, but maybe... Maybe deer aren't that smart. Just finished a whole pizza. Must have been a good pizza. Um, I used to get those little personal pan pizzas from uh, Pizza Hut when I was a kid. Oh, oh man, I love those things. Thick crust. Um, so I kind of have a habit about picking up too much stuff. I really want to get this pelt and the meat, but I, I just don't think it makes sense. So we'll leave it alone, and uh, we'll check this out. Oh, snap. This is exactly what we're looking for here. So this is a climb that, well, it, it doesn't 
lead to a place I've been to. I mean, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know that, but I've never seen a rope. Um, Jesus Christ. So it could be that this leads out, which is what we're looking for. There's two, there's another rope down there. So that's a big climb, though. That's a big climb. I'm not sure it's any better than the other way. There could just be stuff down there. I have no clue. Uh, but I'm not going down there without a sleeping bag. I'm definitely not going to jump. Pretty sure that would be a death sentence. But we're going to come back here with the bearskin rug, I think. Hot and ready. Pizza. Yeah, uh, they're nice and cheap, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but let's put that on our list because it could be like the ravine in uh, one of the connector uh, which got a bunch of stuff down at the bottom um, or it could it could actually be the uh, another way out I can't tell I think that's a sapling that we must have cut down already. So this could be the end of the river. Beautiful. Nature's corn dogs. Um, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to playing on Interloper. Um, we have so many supplies here uh, on Stalker that it's kind of ridiculous. I've got about 300 cattails back at the uh, back at our Milton house, and hundreds on another map. Uh, I think we've got about a hundred in coastal highway, and we've got about a hundred in uh, uh, Mystery Lake. This looks like something. Kind of looks like it's just gonna break and. We're going to splash through. I don't see anything. It looks just like water. I'm not going to go out there. So. Um, anyway, we're probably not going to start with death. My, my guess is that either we're going to get uh, lizard did to death. or um, assaulted by a bunch of wolves. I could have sworn I just saw a shadow. All right, this, this almost definitely goes back up to that bridge. Um, let, let's, let's look at this first. This is trying to kill Palance fans. Um, oh, I must. I did see a shadow. It, it, birds up here. They implemented a new uh, system for rewarding good behavior. And uh, so far, the initial results seem pretty positive. People, uh, people can mark other people as being good sports or something like that. Uh, I think I see something over there. I don't know if it's a texture glitch or what. Yeah, I think it's a texture glitch.
Um, I'd, I'd be surprised if hi ever put something like that in. I feel like they've moved on to... Uh, that's just where we were. I feel like they've moved on to Battle right now. Uh, whatever it is. Realm Royale. I want to lean over, but... <clears throat> yeah, that's what I was talking about, Alonzo. They just added it to Overwatch. Um, I guess they need to do a lot of things. I mean... Normally I'd say they need to fix bugs, but... Players don't really seem to care too much about bugs. They keep playing buggy games. So from a business decision, I kind of understand. But, uh, boy, it sucks to have a mashed crash. And, um... Uh, happens a lot. I tell you, this game, I, I don't think... I can't remember this game ever. Crash crashing. It's got problems. Um, I've gotten stuck a few times um, where you'll stand like on some boulders or something and you can't walk your way out of it but in terms of actually crashing I think so. yeah my friend uh, crashes when she plays forever you know it's only like once in 20 times usually when she uses the vine but it means that she can't play it. Because if you crash during a match, you're going to lose. Yeah, the, it, it's really satisfying to play a game that feels like they... I don't know, like they've worked on the solidity of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Stolze... Uh, Stolzy crashed from it before, but they just don't care. Or they're... I think the only other option is they're incompetent at being able to find these, uh, these problems. So, what we're doing is we're just following this wall. I assume it'll eventually reach the bus. Um, I'm not very good. I haven't been taken drawings. So let's take one here. Yeah, exactly. Bethesda games are absurdly buggy, but people, people play the shit out of them. Um, so I'm kind of curious. Let's go over to that rope and see if it has a name. Uh, I'll, I'll run for this. Can't We can't run very long. We're pretty... Uh, Bulky. What? Oh man, I had no idea about that sample can. Uh, now don't get me wrong, this game has its problems. Um, many problems. particularly with UI, but uh, looks like it's getting hazy. Uh, let's uh, let's map both of these points here. Maybe it's good that we came back this way because it might turn into a storm. Let's get out here a good ways. See if we can catch whether there's like features down below. Kind of looks like a lake drawing of a lake, but I don't I don't know.
That deer's just hanging around. I'm, I'm surprised the wolf hasn't sniffed the deer out. Um, it's, kind, it's kind of a gross... I just went down a gross path in my mind. Because I was thinking, you know, how, how is it that the wolf can smell the deer when I'm carrying it? But it can't smell the deer when the deer's standing there. And real, real, world, real world wolves, I'm sure, are different. And real world deer are different. But I guess skin holds the smell to some extent. Uh, and I think in the real world, wolves can smell deer and, and prey animals try to cover their scent and all sorts of stuff. Just says climb. Okay. So because I can't see anything, I'm going to go to the river and follow that and should meet up with the bridge. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I think the question of what game designers should focus on is definitely hard question because um, the games that get wildly popular in a very short time, like Ark, is a good example. Um, Ark, this dinosaur survival game. just ridden with bugs. Horrible. I mean, it's the, just the jankiest piece of nonsense. But there's something captivating about it. Same with Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft's buggy is... All, it's always been buggy. But it was somehow captivating and people didn't care. Um, certain ice can break, yeah. I don't I don't think rivers tend to break, um, and that's why I'm kind of a bit cavalier. Could be wrong. Um, but there's ice in Coastal Highway that breaks, and there's ice in um, Forlorn Muskeg. Oh, we've got two paths. Yeah, TF2. What's really interesting about TF2 is that uh, if you read the patch notes, they seem to be fixing really obscure bugs, but not other bugs. Um, but I think the development environment at Valve is that you're allowed to work on whatever you want. Could be wrong about that, but maybe they're not instructed based on. Okay, this is uh, this can be turned into bows. Maybe they're not prioritized by how many users they affect or something. The fact that, yeah, I don't, yeah. Whenever you get these complicated uh, scenarios for bug creation, I feel like it might be an indication that uh, you should rethink how things are structured, but uh, it's probably too late for that to make a whole lot of sense. I'm sure they're thinking about TF3. It, yeah, it's spaghetti, yeah. 
Um, oh, here we go. Alright, so this is just a little tiny offshoot. We'll head back, uh, head back up. And then when we hit the bridge, we'll probably head back to the farmhouse. Uh, what do you mean investment? Ah, you monetary investment, I see. Yeah, especially if uh, if Valve is actually still making money. Um, but they could do it in such a way that perhaps the cosmetics are carried over. I, I mean, I don't know. Probably the way the art works, that would be difficult, but it seems possible. Yeah, there's the bridge. All right, so we have more or less an idea of what's going on here. Um, yeah, I think maybe I wouldn't say style. I mean, I feel like their style is one of the best parts about them, but certainly they'd want to update the I, I don't know, the generation kind of thing, you know. TF2 looks a bit... Still looks pretty good, but... Honestly, I think that that's a feature. I... It's just like this game, right? It's stylized. And I think it makes things look sharp and salient. You can pick out what you need to see really easily. Can't do that in um, in Paladins, for sure. But in TF2, generally speaking, I can't think of any exceptions. You can pick out who's a heavy, who's a medic, no matter what hat they have on. In TF2, I have no clue. When Tyra wears her angel wings, I think she's Furia. I, I have no idea who's who based on based on what they look like. And I I don't know. Everything about high res annoys the shit out of me. But their game is fun. Should we keep? I think I think we should keep following this. This is going to eventually go back to the house, I think. Should almost be completely new. Yeah. I have, I've played maybe two hours of Overwatch, so I don't really know if Overwatch does a good job, but... Uh, God, it sucks at it. Yeah. That's generally what I've been doing. Um, I'll leave it alone for like a year and come back to it and play it for half a year. And that's happened many times in the last... Uh, Decade? I don't know. How long's it been? Well, I was hoping the weather might clear up so we could go take a peek. Back where we were. 
Uh, I might just go do it anyway. Eleven years, man. That's crazy. Let's see if we can't get up here. to be clearing up. So that's another uh, anecdote. Those birds flew overhead right as they were, uh, right as the weather cleared up. <clears throat> Alright, so this is where we stopped actually, I think, when the weather got bad. So let's head up here if we can. close. Uh, research mechanic? Um, well, there's, there's books that you can read that will increase your skills. So you have different skills, how, how to fish, how to start fires, how to cook. And uh, you gain experience through practice, but you can also uh, find books that teach you how to do these things. And they're pretty, pretty good. If you level up cooking, for example, to, to level five, um, you're guaranteed not to ever get food poisoning from food that you cook. No, it doesn't carry over game to game. Um, it's a little bit tedious to relearn, but uh, every, every game you start back at zero, so you can barely make a fire. You can... um, there are a couple of things that carry over from game to game. Uh, these badges, I haven't unlocked any of them, but if you've if you've read for 250 hours you gain a little bit of benefit um, if you spend time outside just surviving 500 days consume 10 food calories so these these are kind of like very small ways in which your progress carries over but I haven't got any of them Looks like this one's close. Sprinting now burns 25 fewer calories. 20% fewer calories. Okay, we've got a wolf there. So this is where we came from. Um, this part of the map is actually where we got to this map. I think it's worth taking a, a look over here. Don't really remember what we left for ourselves or Let's 
sleeping bag. This little this little place to spend the night if uh if you're about to leave the area. But I'll head over here and I'll draw this, I think. So that, good lord, this it kind of freaks me out, honestly. I'm not terrified of heights, but I don't... Everyone's a little bit afraid of heights, I think. So this could lead to the same area, actually. All right. Um, I'm going to pop over here, grab these. Uh, Lichen. I th thought I saw some lichen. And then we'll head back to the farmhouse. So that's... Uh, actually, we've explored this whole region now. Except maybe if you go up the road and take a left instead of a right, I'm not sure. So I'm thinking actually maybe we should go back to the Milton house and get prepared to get prepared to go down that road on a little expedition. Oh yeah? Sadly there's lag and so now I don't now I don't see it. I wish Twitch could get rid of that lag completely. It's really frustrating when Yeah, it's it's frustrating when uh, you can't have that real-time thing. So, I haven't explored over there, but I think it's all mountain. I think I've done it before. So, I'm going to stay away from the wolves. Might get the little arch. Just to see. I feel like it's coming up behind me. So a lot of the delay actually just comes from Twitch. Um, and you can set... You can set low delay. But then you have other problems. Like... Um, people won't be able to change quality settings and stuff like that. They haven't quite worked out all the kinks. If you're a partner, I think you're guaranteed quality stuff, but as an affiliate, it's not, it doesn't really work that well. Alright, all our meat is over by the farmhouse, but we can make, we've got plenty in the, on the porch.
Uh, what, what should we have for dinner? Wolf, bear. Let's have some bear. Oh, Jesus. So, it's beautiful, but it's deadly. Sounds like quite a storm is on the way. So, let's see. Cook up. Cook up this meat. I think I'll make a little bit more water too. Steamed hams, huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. You do. If you have the, the pots now, you you can cook meat in the pot. I feel like pot meat is he's, he's boiling a bear, right? I guess boiling is different from steaming. When I was young, and my uh, parents were out, you know, old enough to watch myself. I don't remember how old, but uh, I decided to make pancakes. <laughs> uh, and I couldn't find the pants. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I guess they were just in a cabinet I couldn't reach. I don't know. But I could get to the pots. So I tried to make pancakes in a pot. And uh, it didn't work too well. <laughs> and when you've got the whole bottom of the pot covered in pancake batter, can't flip them, that's for sure. Are you talking about the... <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. So here's... I was too busy being frustrated with the fact that I can't say, please put in as many as you can. That command isn't expressible in this uh, in this logic. Okay, so apparently you can, you can right-click until it turns red, but I don't even know that. There you go. <clears throat> 300 even. So we'll put uh, put those in there. And what, are, what are we gonna do here? So so we've got this climb and. I feel pretty confident that this is going to wind up going to another area. But I'm not ready to go to another area. And even if I was, I wouldn't bring all my stuff down there just to find out that it's, uh, it doesn't lead to another area. So we have to do a little exp ex uh, exploration first. So I think I'll, I'll leave the gun. We'll take another patch it. We're going to have to leave behind so much stuff. Alright. Actions. Unload.
Five arrows is probably enough. Um, just to be super safe, we'll bring extra cloth for bandages, repairs, uh, or snow shelter. Take, we'll take this as seriously as we did go into the uh, that new biome. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait till I can see. I'll just uh, put that there. that's on the table. Let's just go crazy with the water here. So we need 50, no, actually we're going to need, that's too much, but, oops, um, okay, let's eat up and drink up. While this stuff is going, we'll do a little bit of crafting here. Snow, snow, 20, 20, 20. So another 45. This should be plenty of fire. So we can do about three of these. Right. There's, there's sound cues, but I don't really know them. Uh, I think this is right. I'm happy with that. Majora's Mask. I haven't played Majora's Mask.
I like uh, all the Zelda games that I've, most of the Zelda games that I've played. Um, but I'm not really into 3D stuff like that, platforming. I kind of stopped uh, with the consoles after Super Nintendo. But, um, the Zelda for the Super Nintendo is one of the best games ever, and it's definitely making a comeback right now. People are playing it with this randomizer. Um, uh, and it's a bunch of streamers are playing it. I think so, yeah. I mean, do you think it's too much or too little? Water's pretty heavy. Like you pick up a pick up a gallon of water and pick up an eight pound dumbbell. I feel like I feel like that's pretty close. It's pretty brutal. But it sucks that you've got to drink so much. <laughs> it makes survival a lot harder. <laughs> well, the thing about water is you can make it at any time as long as you have a fire. So don't carry around a gallon of it. Um, all right, let's 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 go. So put these things away. We'll grab these. Put that back. It's. it's Fine. It's actually maybe not enough pain. I don't know. Probably being too careful here, but okay. And we need food, so let's get let's get let's get more of the stuff that we need to use up. Soda, sardines, granola. Let's grab let's grab a coffee. And then that this will be we're, we're way over prepared, but essentially we're just doing a little expedition here, so um a scouting mission, essentially. And then finally, good old bearskin rug. We've used up uh, a fifth of this rug. I mean, whatever. Whatever you call it. Sleeping bag, I don't know. Uh, bed roll is what it's called in the game. Okay, so not not super favorable weather. Yep, 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 yep. Um, there's settings for pretty much everything. In in my view, that patch saved this game. Uh, there, there just wasn't a point in playing it again. For me, at least. Until that patch came along. Because their ideas are often so annoying.
well, still the money there. Um, like, they've got this mechanic, um, they've got this mechanic called Cabin Fever, where if you spend too much time indoors, you get Cabin Fever, and then you have to go outside to... Because you're too cooped up. And it's super stupid. It's just... It's opposite of fun. So I always disable that. Um, but you can. That's fantastic. So, yeah. It really redeemed this game. Yeah, you can make Sandbox be anything you want. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Especially if you're like, if you're inside trying to recover from a, like a moose trampled you. You have to stay inside for like 20 days. So then you wind up getting cabin fever. It's just... It's just frustrating. So we turn that off. Um, this is based, this is Stalker, which is like hard but not expert, I guess. But with some stuff like that turned off. Uh, it's kind of weird. Stalker and exp uh, what's it called? Interloper are almost different games. Uh, because an interloper, you can't find most tools. Uh, you can't find a gun, you can't find a hatchet. But you can make a hatchet. A crappy one. Uh, you don't find a lot of clothes. Um, certain areas you can't go to because they're too easy. Um... But in Stalker, the wolves are just turned up to 10. And uh, I think I'd have more fun playing on Interloper. I haven't really seen a whole lot today, but um, that's because I killed three the last time I played. There's, there's one right there who just ran away from us. All right. Top off our meat. Uh, now the question is, should we head down? Or should we wait till the weather to clear up? Also, I didn't mean to carry all this lichen with me. So let's pop in here real quick. Let's go through this uh, lichen. Okay. Let's check. These could use a little repair, but nothing too urgent. Eating sound is, is yucky. I think it's it's actually different for different foods. Um, I, I like the sound design in this game a whole lot. I feel like they paid a lot of attention to it. Um, not just the sounds of doing things, but sound cues are very important to tell you what's going on. Listening to footsteps, you can tell whether it's a wolf or a deer or a rabbit. I, I really I really dig that stuff. A little dripping in the bathroom. Uh, it's about noon. I, I want to go down today. God, but the 
weather is just so bad. So that that's the main problem right there. Um, are we carrying meat? And he's just a bastard. Like we're not carrying any any meat or smelly stuff. He's just uh, he's just a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Spend a little time indoors for just a couple uh, minutes, maybe an hour, and we'll see if we can't sneak around. Let's uh, let's take a little more wood. There's any way out except the store. We can try crouching. Still can't see. So I think we hear it creaking from the barn. There's the wolf, straight ahead. I'm just kind of going to stay here, see if he detects us. I'm kind of curious how close he can get when we're crouched. Pretty close. Feel like uh, a master ninja. Movement noise. Um, yeah, I don't think it's visuals. I, it's, but the, I think there's a visual component to it because he can break. Um, if you if you get out of visual sight, like you get behind a hill or something, he can stop chasing you. Uh, but I think he can. I, I agree with you that he can detect you even if he can't see you initially. Um, there's so many ideas about how things work. Just it's just like paladins. Everybody has all sorts of theories. You go read the forums. There's just theories. It's just like paladins. Khan is great. You know the wolf is the wolf works based on smell and the wind carries your sense or if the wind is blown like nobody knows whether any of these things are, are true um, there's actually one guy who did some experiments uh, with attacking wolves because the company had said something like it's it's like in a tooltip or uh, also, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm already lost. I think it's this way, but... I Now I don't think it is. Um... I think that's the crow for the dead deer, so we're actually going the right way. Um, so somebody did experiments, so that in game they tell you that the, the the bladed weapons, the hatchet, the knife, um, cause the wolf to bleed out faster. Um, but 
but the struggle will be longer. So you might take more damage, uh, but you'll be, you know, you'll have a meal much sooner. Uh, and they say that the blunt weapons, like the hammer and the crowbar, scare off the wolf faster, but it, he's not going to bleed out. And that sounds like a pretty cool mechanic, right? Because you get to decide, well, do I want a meal or do I want to survive? Like, it's a really interesting choice. Somebody did testing, like 100 wolves, um, you know, for each, for each uh, weapon. But the hatchet is just better at everything. That's just how it works. So no one knows anything, even if listening to the listening to the company until you test it. All right, let's let's, uh, let's eat up. Maybe get our weight down up, up to the smidge. Oh no, actually, let's take the coffee. And probably we'll find wood downstairs, but I really don't know what we'll find. So I'm going to be carrying all this stuff. And let's go for it. Yeah, this is a long ass road. So. We'll hop off to take a small rest. So we've got to get down there, and then there's another road. Like, good lord. Going down is the easy way. I should have saved the coffee for going up. Well, oh, there's a cave. Ooh, a plot thickens. Didn't realize that was a step, but that is quite a step. Um, should probably be careful about things you believe where there's nothing you can do to change the belief. I think that's very dangerous. Obviously, video games aren't super important, but I think a lot of people get in the habit of thinking like that. Is Canada this mountainous? I, I guess it is if you go to certain places. I don't know. I, I know that most of the population of Canada lives in like the bottom. And this is supposed to be the um, the Canadian wilderness. Like way up in the top where nobody lives. Hardly anybody lives. I really just want to get under 66. All right, we're going to go for both of these today. No idea where this is going. So this mountain, it, it could be that if we follow it, we wind up going to the rope that goes up to that uh, little campground.
or we go somewhere completely different. I've never been here. Milton Basin. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty. All right, if we if we need to find our way back, we look for the waterfall. All right, we've got a lot of cattails here. Okay. Somebody drove over the cliff. There's food and I can't get it. I can't. She won't angle herself down far enough to pick up the food. That's disappointing. Maybe if I'm in the driver's seat, I don't know. If she actually sits in the seat. Oh yeah. Success. So this truck was towing something. Or nothing. Yeah, there's, uh... There's a lot of different kinds of people who came when I advertised on Reddit. There's people with certain pet theories. Um, I don't know. I want it to be a place where people can come and feel free to share their ideas uh, and talk about them in a civil manner. And I don't want to discourage people because of their ideas, but I feel like some people maybe are a little bit aggressive. This is like a whole thing. This is a whole place. I have no idea. There's a there's a branch here. Um, but I ran his numbers, and uh, he didn't trick my algorithm, and I doubt he tricked high res's algorithm either. Um, TP is completely separate from MMR. TP is just for show, and the TP algorithm isn't really an algorithm, it's just, it's just for show. And that's all he can see is TP, so. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I, I ran some data for him. And he wouldn't tell me his claim. So, this is exactly what I was saying earlier, um, Sam or Cam, I think, I think this is the result of going down that road of uh, not having your mind changeable. 
Um, if anybody says anything, you can find a wiggle around it. It's conspiracy theory stuff. Um, it's uh, if, if you don't believe in UFOs, then you're part of the conspiracy. And you're, you know, hiding the evidence or all sorts of stuff. Uh, these might join up, so let's just hope they join up and we'll put that on the bucket list to come back to. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yep. Well, his idea is... And de depending on your goals, the idea makes sense. But the idea is that, um, let's say you, you go and you play, uh, you play Strix, just Strix, and you lose every game. Um, your player rating will be very low. And so that's all high res knows to do when they match you. Because uh, they don't know what champion you're going to pick. So, you're going to get easy opponents. Um, and then once once you've gotten that low enough, he, he says, okay, now now play the character that you really want to play. Bot or whatever. And you'll get really easy opponents. And it's true, you will get easy opponents. I mean, that's... They don't know which champion you're going to pick. So if you, you play one champion shittily and one champion well... They're going to go in between, more or less. But it's not going to... It's not going to... make your ELO skyrocket. Even your player ELO. It's going to be... somewhere in between. Um, all you're doing is being an ass. Because you've got a bunch of people whose games are now... necessarily lost. And then a bunch of other people whose uh, whose games are necessary. Well, you're actually screwing people both ways. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's not true. It may have something to do with TP, but it, it doesn't have anything to do with MM um, rating. I, I feel very confident about that. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, but one of the things that I did when I did my rating system was compare it to high res's uh, top top X, you know, on each board, each champion. And we pretty much had the same people. Um, and, not to mention, on their matchmaking fact, they explained that rating is based on wins and losses. Um, so, I think I think it's possible that this person is just uh, one of these personalities where they believe things and there's no way you can convince them otherwise, which Let's wait a little bit more. So, I, I don't know. I, I really... It's a really shitty thing to do because you're ruining people's games. It's an asshole thing to do. Um, because either the game center is throwing... Well, that's really shitty. Or the games that he is... Um, you know, 
not suited to be in. That's shitty too. Kind of looks swampy. This kind of looks like Forlorn Musket. Which could be where it... Matches up to. I guess I've been here. Maybe I took a right. Um, but yeah. It's almost... The TP doesn't make any sense. You can't see anybody else's borders. And it's not directly tied to rating. I don't understand why they have it at all. <laughs> you, you lost all of your placement patches? Um... Yeah, I mean, like I said, I ran his numbers on that character. Um, and all the, all the grief that he caused all those people. Um, his his rating his rating went up and up, and then he started dying, and uh, purposefully losing, and it went down and down, and it stayed there because. You don't get much ELO from winning easy games. That's just how the algorithm works. So um, he's he's winning all these easy games, and he's just not getting ELO from it like he thinks he is. This is this is like a whole other map. How have I never been here? It's really hard to under pin him down. Yeah. Um. Big game. Good weather. Uh, don't see any wolves. This is like a whole other part of the map. Oh my god. I I can't believe all this was down here. That's a big damn climb. I'm really sketched out about this ice. Yeah, the lake and mystery lake. <laughs> so I wonder I wonder if this does connect. To the other I don't know. This might connect to where come in from Mystery Lake. Let's see if we can get over here without falling through the ice.
Herman's cabin. Well, yeah, this is pretty remote. I guess... I guess you would be a hermit. <laughs> oh, we got a cave. Oh, is that a cave? What is that? No, it's just a gray rock. Oh, man. A snare, that's kind of cool. Firewood bin. Okay, maybe we'll stay here for a moment. Oh, there's a stove. Oops. Make rabbit gloves. I actually have rabbit gloves. Um, it just doesn't show on the... Um, on the bow. It's kind of just a... I don't know, graphical error. Hermits. Okay. It'd be cute if they hit something up in the rafters. I'm gonna dump a lot of this wood. Coal. Uh, we'll have. I'll just put this in the bin. I don't know. Um, I think I think there's an achievement uh, to there's a couple of achievements based on that kind of thing. Uh, one is I think to use charcoal in every region, and then there's another to you know how when we walked up here it came up on the screen and it said hermit's cabin or something. The other achievements to find every one of those, um, and I think they're separate. So there's a lot of named places that aren't really places, they're just like features, you know, waterfalls and stuff like that. Um, I, I, I'm nowhere close to doing either of those. I always forget to use the charcoal. Still a little light left, so I'm going to take a peek around here. We're dramatically overweight now. I, I didn't I didn't expect this to be a whole place. I thought it was gonna be like, oh look, exit exit the region. Here you go. But this is just like this is as big as the part above the mountain. It's gotta be. Where is this going to end? Up oh, the spawn right in. Like, 
<laughs> There's a lot of it, yeah. Um, all that stuff is actually random. And each little sapling is random. Each little rose bush is random. Um, I think there's areas in which they can spawn, but whether they appear or not. It's the same with the houses. Um, the houses, kind of the foundation's there, but there's a chance that they're burned down. Uh, throws a little bit of... A little bit of uncertainty into the game. Is that a rabbit or a wolf? That's a wolf. I was starting to think this was a paradise down here. Let's head back for the night. And we'll sleep in the permits. Uh, so if there's a blizzard, it should be easy to make a fire. Punch it across the globe. Yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, I'm so surprised that we've lasted this long. When we started this playthrough, um, like within five minutes, we saw a bear and a wolf, and then within thirty, we were attacked by wolves, and all we had was our fists. So we punched it, and it did quite a number on us. And then we were pinned into a trailer by another wolf. It was just... It was a mess. Uh, I, I, I'm really surprised that we made it through one session. I kind of expected, like, death, 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 and then, okay, we, we got a good start. map has got to win the award for the most uh, um, hot dogs. All right, well, I guess we'll just stay right here. Uh, Don't really need water, but we might in the morning. So we'll see. Don't want to sleep too long in case something happens. All right, Samurcam, have a nice night. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck with uh, the TP. Oh, yeah? Do you, you only like one of them? I guess you probably don't like Onslaught. See you, man. So let's 
morning. And we're fully rested, I think. But it's snowing pretty hard out there. We've actually gotten a bit damp already. Um, let's see if it, if it gets better. It's not really better. So apparently this roof isn't protecting us from snow. I wonder if that other one would have. Let's head in here. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, this is 42%. Let's see if it changes. Okay. 50%. Okay, so we're just getting wetter. Uh, I'm gonna wake this out and then probably make a fire. I don't think. Oh, we can actually make a nice torch. If we need to. Boy, this weather sucks. I thought... I thought this place would give us shelter from snow. I don't think there's any sense in trying to save all of these things. Need to get our weight down. Alright, it's clear enough. I'm gonna go, if we need to make a fire, um, I have plenty of wood, and we can dry off out there. I, I want to figure out what this place is. Is it, is it a, is it gonna help us get to escape this map? I mean, even if it is, this is a long van way to go. So we'll find the water again. Alright, we crossed over here on Where are my goodness? So there's an arch. That looks like well arches signify transition. Just 
far enough away that we can. So where would this go? It goes to some water. It's gotta be forlorn musket. Is. I mean, don't know where it goes, but it is an exit. Forlorn musket. I feel like that was rattling around in the back of my head. So. We haven't mapped any of Forlorn Massacre because I have no clue uh, where this even sits in relation to other things. Um, but I don't see... I don't see anything. Looks like there's a climb over there. So this is... This is not the way we want to go. Um, we have way too much stuff, and this is way, way too far of a trip. Um, okay. Well, it's good that we figured that out. It's a little bit sad because... We already know the best way. The best way is not. The best way is two ropes. And uh, one of them's an up. So uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is keep walking in a circle here. I still have the thought that this is going to join up to where you actually go to get to, uh, oh, actually, oh, hello. Um, did we draw this already? I guess this used to be a dam or something? I'm not really... I don't really understand all that fancy stuff. It does look like uh, timber. Okay. It's one way to... Escape a wolf. The wind's pushing me back. This could be bad.
could be could be turning into a storm here. But that's the big rock that's in the middle of the lake, so the, the hermit's hut is just on opposite that. So if we have to, we could, we could go there. But any of the containers for fire are completely windproof. So even a barrel. Even like a fireplace, if you find a fireplace in the wind from a building. But I could be, I could be wrong with that. Let's go up here. This looks like it cuts in. Right. So this is where, yeah, we're, we're, I feel like this would be. Oh man. So there's a waterfall. Don't know if that's the one we started at. I don't think it is. a little bit of that water. Uh, so what I was trying to say is I think this makes sense to be where we came in from. Mr. Lake. I mean don't really see any way to get up there but I feel like it's the right. this wall because that's going to be safety when the storm comes in. Hopefully we find a cave or even a way yeah, that's, that's blizzard alright. Try one, try it here. It's not super safe. But but you never know. This could do it. This could, it and the wind is gonna shift, it's just if it shifts from this side we're screwed, right? These sides maybe we're okay.
Uh, is it too risky to do this? Let's leave this a few more minutes, right? Because uh, I want to be ready. Like, I want to eat it at the end, you know? So... Let's just sit here for a couple minutes. Trying to get my rest up. <clears throat> Just to get our weight up. Oh! I should have brought. I should have brought the Moosehide Satchel. Okay, well. Yeah, it's, it's a good thing we woke up. Uh. Go just across the river to that rock. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I mean, nothing that I think, no matter what argument you have, it's not going to matter. All right, we're dry. I'm gonna, I don't know what to do, whether to put another fire down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. If the wind doesn't shift, it should be warm. Wind shifted. Uh, shit, where's the fire? Oh god. I wish I could look around while I'm building a fire. Good lord. Boy, this is a doozy. This one's been going on for what, four hours now?
Okay, so it's almost it's almost dark. So we're probably gonna be staying here for the night. I really wish the storm would stop. We're kinda of running out of wood. this bit of water here. So there's not a lot of trees, so maybe... I don't really see any... anything. It's not a... this isn't a great place to be. should be able to burn saplings like when you're desperate. Um, Alright, this snare. Harvest it. We're not going to use a snare. I think give something like plus five heat. Um, okay, thirty minutes. Let's sleep for an hour. Hope it stays the same direction. Is that it? Maybe? That doesn't really look like it. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's it. What a night! What a night! We found these uh, two little niches. I had. Wait, what? What happened to my. What happened to my hat? So, we're not wearing a hat. I think a balaclava should protect you from frostbite. But, that's a lot of temperature that we don't have. That's like, I don't know, another three degrees or something. Oh dear, we... some mistakes. We should put chop down trees. Um, right, I'm going to try to put out the campfire. Because only you can fight forest fires. How does it go? <clears throat> only you can fight fires. I can't remember how that goes. Only stop forest fires? Really? That's it? Felt, I thought there was more to it. Only you can. I feel like that's not very good. <laughs> Only you can. <laughs> Just if for some reason it doesn't sound right. Uh. I saw a smoky bit. The bear. Oh, it's really cold. I saw a smoky the bear ad the other day in New York City. And I was like, where is the forest? So, 17. This is still going to be too cold. Um. This isn't exactly a blizzard, but it's so cold that even the bearskin bedroll isn't going to help. I think I have to make another fire. And the wind has shifted. Uh, 
Um, all right, I'm gonna try to look around just a bit. I see some trees over here. All right, so we've got a little bit of wood. Is there a cave? Is there at least something I can get three sides protected? It could be another blizzard coming. Uh, but either way, we have to start a fire. That's not protected. Oh, we've been here. Oh, that must be the waterfall we started at. Oh! Alright. Shit. This is going to be warm enough. So let's sleep. Let's sleep for an hour in this truck, in this bearskin bedroll. So we've walked all the way around. Yeah, we're just going to stay in here for the... throughout this storm. Uh, two storms consecutively. It's pretty rough. But we were prepared. Like Smokey. We were prepared. Be prepared. That's the Boy Scouts. we've got to get back under 666 six, six to go back up. But we can drop all this water. Um... Now there's a cave up the first rope. So we could go there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's so much warmer now. Kind of makes me want to go back and explore a bit more because you know we missed a bunch of stuff in the dark in a blizzard. But I, I think we've seen enough. Uh, yeah, I, I certainly don't rec remember your name. Um, but it's possible that we just didn't uh, notice. I've actually... I, I've thought about maybe doing... It, it borders on getting kind of uncomfortable, I think. But I, I was thinking about doing some kind of social network graphs. Um... You know who you who people play games with, who um, who you've played games with. Wait. Oh my God! Can I not get back up here? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Okay, thank goodness. <clears throat> um, I don't have friends, but uh, I can see who's partied in each match. So that's how I do the parties thing on current. Um, I look back through everybody's um, matches to see who they've partied with in the past. 
All right, we're going up. We've got to drop weight. And I just keep all these twigs and drop. Okay, maybe I'll drop some twigs. Yeah, something like popularity stuff. Yeah, I, I thought about doing that. It's just, I feel like it kind of becomes sketchy. Like some people are uncomfortable by stuff like that. Let's hop in. Isn't there a cave? Yeah. Let's hop in here and take a little... rest. See if we can't make it all the way back up and be done with this part of the map because this is uh, if, if there's an easy way to get out of this region uh, I haven't found it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay. I don't know why it would be one way, but it just still scared me. I think this is going to be uh, easy. Yeah, we've got this. So it wasn't until this playthrough that I really realized what those ledges were for. And that's so that you can rest. You've, you've got not only your tiredness, but you've got... Um, I think my camera might be in the way, but... You've got a meter when you're climbing that goes down. So you have to hop on the ledge to rest. A dark day. Let's head to the farmhouse and then back to Milton House. Um, I think I might stop there for the day because now we have all the information we need to to get out of Milton. We still have a couple of wolves to go through, but. Um, I think everything's... Okay, well, this one's gonna get us. So, we could try to run. Yeah. Let's do that. still see me and now I can't run anymore 
Shaolin's but well I I, <laughs> I don't want to lose the arrow what's been happening is I shoot them hey you got distracted by the rabbit what's been happening is that I shoot them but it doesn't kill them it sticks in their back and then um, and then they run off with my arrow and I can't find it. That's a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, I want. Can rabbits make noises like that in real life? All right. I don't think we've had anything in here. Well, we have some gut. Might as well bring that back to it. Um, okay, but I think that's it. And... We've got all this wolf meat here. This is probably a bad idea. I've got so much meat. I don't know why um, I'm bringing this, but I'm bringing this. I think it's I think it's a psychological. Like I'm protective of it. I killed this. It's mine. This dude uh, tried to get me, and I got him. It's it's totally irrational. Uh, I have 50 pounds of bear meat on the porch that I'm not going to eat. It's completely irrational, but I can't stop it. thing is they seem to go for the decoys an awful lot. Um, so I, I, and I don't feel too bad about it because I have so much. It's kind of the best of both worlds maybe? I think I'm just trying to convince myself. So we found another exit to the Forlorn Muskeg, which is kind of a weird place. I guess it's both weird and not weird. It's weird in a game sense, because Forlorn Muskeg is right next to the Mystery, mystery Lake, so it's like, what's the point? Um, of course, in a real life sense, it makes sense that it would be next to a place that's next to a place, you know what I mean? Um, so, I guess you can't fault it for accuracy. Like, look at all this. Look, this all this cooked, all this uncooked. This would take weeks to eat. I mean, months, maybe. A whole bear? Oh, can't bring it with us though. <laughs> we just, if we ever find a traitor, um, we're gonna be rich.
so anyway, uh, what I was trying to say is we we found this second exit. It's not what I was hoping for. Um, so I'm going to go through the Mystery Lake one. And I think the only thing left to figure out, and I'll figure this out uh, before the next screen, is how much stuff we're going to carry back with us. Because uh, I, I think we've got enough stuff for, I mean, especially including the meat, but I, I don't think that's even a possibility. But we've got enough stuff for eight trips, probably. I, I mean, if we carried everything. All right, so I'm going to put things away and then uh, call it quits with you. Does beer like it get heavier? Wait, beard like it gets heavier as you turn it into dressing? It's a pound when it's 40 of them. It takes three, right? So that's like 13. Almost 14. And this is three pounds. It gets heavier. Well, that's good to know. Damn. That doesn't make any sense game or real life. Crafting three of them into a, a, a poultice makes it heavier somehow. Okay, well that's, that's good to know. Actually need bear skin to repair the bear skin bedroom. It makes sense, but it kind of sucks. I kind of think maybe when we got back from Hushed River, we, we fought some wolves. I think they killed our two. Stuff. I feel like we should just live here for the next 500 days. Alright, well, I'm going to step out and step back in to save. blustery day so we'll be saying goodbye to Milton soon hopefully find our way back to uh, Mystery Lake that will be next stream so thanks everybody for hanging out um, and uh, probably be later this week so I will see you then have a nice night everybody